Good afternoon and welcome to Soberholic Fog. We're going to talk about Bruce a bit today. So I've had a bit of trouble with Bruce overheating um, recently and the other weekend me and Mika changed the thermostat in there which was it's just amazingly cute. was the end of the problem but today as you can see the bonnet's up we're still overheating so I've changed the thermostat flush the cooling system radiators clean thermostats working I've even slapped in like an extra fan to try and cool it because I thought that might help it's still not going pretty sure it's the water pump so I'm gonna have to pull the water pump out this afternoon and see what that looks like um, but yeah it's hot I've just dropped meter off so I've got to wait for it to cool down and while it's cooling down I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to give you a full tour around Bruce. So if we sit up the front in the driver's seat, you can see the kid's seat there. Skates down the floor at the moment because it's a bit of a mess. Cup holders that I built because I didn't have any cup holders in here. Um, down here I have voltage for my main battery and the secondary battery for the fridge. Phone charger that's connected to the secondary battery so I can have a phone, camera, or whatever I want charging at all times. Um, you saw in another video I built this little stealth wall here so from the outside when you're looking in just looks like a cargo barrier or something and there's nothing there but it's the magic portal through to another world and then once we get in the back it can basically be shut off and I found this mad ass fabric at Spotlight which I absolutely love unfortunately it wasn't quite enough to finish it off but that's another story down here um, timber floors which need Resanding and bar machine and sealing up basically the whole van all this timber everything in here it's all different colors different grades different styles of timber it all needs sanding down oiling or varnishing or sealing somehow but it's kind of cosmetic like at the moment everything works and I just want to use it for a while and see what I like see what I want to change I mean this is like the fourth rendition of this and I think I'm going to change it again this week so I don't want to have everything finished and not be able to touch it so yeah, anyway um fridge drawer so lock down here on the timber floor I lock that fridge slides out I have my um, angle fridge which is connected to some deep cycle batteries down under there and then this little cupboard up the top which isn't quite finished yet folds down onto here and makes an epic little table plan with this thing is to chuck in like another shelf up here and have like storage down there and probably clothes or something up the top there I'm not really sure yet um, the next bit that I want to change is I want to put another layer on here that folds out to here and then put a mattress through there for Mika to sleep in I think that would be an awesome place for a little Mika bed um, she's getting a bit big and wiggly to share a double bed with at the moment so I'm um, just shut, there we go I'll just shut that slide the fridge back in you see I tidied up the front of the bed here I had to cut this mattress down so it's a double mattress but it's about 300 mil shorter than normal actually I think it might be a queen um, so yeah I've cut that down and made it a bit shorter made this nifty little cover to go across the front open that up and access under there is water storage and just random stuff that goes in there behind the drawers we have a lovely bed that's not made and a bit messy timber walls both sides haven't touched the roof yet I've got the roof cut out I want to wait until I've got some money to insulate it all properly and put proper lights up at the moment I have these nifty little push lights they're just battery operated so they're not permanent um, shelf up there obviously needs um, like finishing sanding down and revarnishing to match the rest of the bed uh, rest of the van but like I say, that's all cosmetic. I'm not sure if I'm happy with it there or not. I want to kind of get everything set up first, trial it for a bit and use it. I'm not really sure what to do like along here. 
tidy up all the seams and when you shut the door it's just metal as well so still haven't come up with ideas money's pretty tight at the moment though so I don't know I'll get to that eventually um, coming around the back open up these lovely double doors which are just amazing down the beach and the best thing about having that wall up the front is you can back up to the water open these doors shut the side door and it just feels like you're in another world like you're completely isolated from everything else that's around you it's amazing oh down here I have um, phone chargers and also a switch for a ventilation fan so I turn that on it sucks air from in here to outside and lets fresh air come in and circulate and trust me the few nights I have stayed in here that is the best thing the absolute best thing ever down the back um, I've put two drawers here that go under the bed made them myself and they just sit there they're nice cantilever design so it won't sort of fall out again need sanding finishing and sealing um, got drawers in here so a little cooker which sits up on here and then put some utensils and whatnot in there so you can stand here and cook which is like really really handy and you know I wouldn't I wouldn't sit on that but it's it's strong enough to hold everything when I'm cooking another water tank under there so at the moment I have 20 liters of fresh water in here which will be expanded to 40 I've left room in there to expand it I just I don't have money to buy more tanks and more pipes at the moment so that's how it is and then I have this other random drawer here which is just gonna have a bunch of these plastic things in it and be storage for for random things tap for the water water's all gravity fed at the moment it's literally just for rinsing off when we've been swimming at the beach or whatever and just need like to get the salt or sand off and washing dishes that sort of stuff eventually I want to put a little 12 volt pump in here when I've got more water capacity and have a shower head on it just so I can rinse my daughter after we've been swimming in the ocean so yeah that's it that is my complete setup at the moment hopefully now the motor's cooled down enough that i can start getting into it i don't really want to be mucking with the cooling system when it's like 100 degrees so yeah hopefully it's a bit lower now So I finally got it, finally got it out and unfortunately it looks like absolutely perfect, like there's nothing wrong with it, which kind of sucks. It's actually quite an easy job to take a water pump off, it's the 350 different things you have to take off in there to get the water pump off. So like all of that and this, just to get to this and then to find out that that's actually looks okay damn um anyway it's out now so i'll replace it and see what happens it's a little bit of play in the bearings but the impeller looks good and everything's fine <sighs> but i've got it out so i might as well replace it saga of bruce continues i'm all showered up now semi clean turns out it's pretty hard to get oil and grease off without proper hand cleaner dishwashing liquid doesn't quite cut it I've got to order parts now for Bruce, they don't carry them in store here so I've got to go online and order them, wait for them to arrive and I'm kind of hoping they're not too expensive because I've been under a bit of financial pressure lately which is why there hasn't been many videos going up, I haven't really been doing anything and I've been feeling quite stressed about money, I'm just sort of catching up after you know, unpaid leave, leave over Christmas, changing jobs and all the other crap that went with last year. <sighs> anyway, so Bruce might be off the road for a while, might be back on the road by next weekend. I really hope it is because it's long weekend next weekend and I'd love to take Mika away, but yeah, if funds allow. Um, anyway, thank you so oh, I just thought I would show you this. The other last weekend Mika was here and we were playing with some Play-Doh 
and we made a cast of our hands with the play-doh and then cast it and plaster and painted it I'm so proud of it I love a little creative shit. anyway that's enough about that um so thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed click on the link to subscribe Please, I'd love to have you along. Keep an eye on the channel and there'll be some more interesting videos coming up. It's not all going to be about Bruce. I can assure you of that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I love you. See you next time. Bye! Don't wait me up.